Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be showing you some simple boxing moves. I know, basically I built this channel right now for like five videos off of Taekwondo, but a lot of people don't realize how important boxing is. When we're in some boxing in Taekwondo, here, all like the Taekwondo kicks and stuff are from a far distance, boxing is up close, and um, wrestling is literally like you're on the ground. <coughs> So, I hope you know that the normal fighting stance for Taekwondo is like this. Boxing stance, it's kind of like this. Your knees aren't that bent too much. And my instructors taught me, put your hands over both of your jaws, but so pivot right here. That's a really bad pressure point. So I was like keeping my right hand right here and my left hand right here. And you can easily, you know, switch them around. So, I started off like this. So, okay, so the first one is a, um, just jab. A jab is, like, you still put power into it, but you don't have a lot of bot. Well, actually, this is a cross, sorry. If you got the same arm of your leg that's in the back, you always twist your hip whenever you punch. And you always want your punch to be angled up with your jaw. So, do you see my whole hip doing that? Now, you want to bring it back fast, because you don't know if they know judo. So, it should look something like this. Now, next one is a simple jab. There's, like, no body motion. And, it's just a fist out like that. Now, the, now the next one is a hook. I think you all know that. It's like what everybody that doesn't know martial arts uses in a fight. So, there's a hook. A lot of people, like, some people, they would, like, try these big things. I think those are called haymakers. Just never try those. They're gonna dodge it or block it, and then you're gonna get screwed. Always try, like, simple hooks. They still hurt, but, you know, if, if you come at somebody, like, they're, they're gonna dodge it. Like, there's no joke. They're just gonna dodge it. Like, imagine if I was coming to you. You're gonna dodge that. So, simple hook. They're great. Obviously, like, a lot of people there's like, huh, huh. But what I like doing, I like doing a lot of hip motion. What my Taekwondo instructor teach me is that it's, like, never about the limb they're using it with. It's about the whole body motion. Puts a lot more force into it. So, you see me? Twist my whole body, and then, so, it should look like this. You're not like that. It should never look like that. <clears throat> what are we at? Three minutes? Okay. Um, next one. I think there's two more. Can't really remember that good. Um, and I'm going to show you a little bonus-ish one at the end. It's not really part of boxing, it's good self-defense though. So you got the hammer fist. A lot of people that use this are like, again, kind of like the haymaker. They're going to dodge it and it doesn't do a lot of thing. So normal people do a haymaker, but like that, they don't put a lot of body motion into it. If they're like a hammer fist, they're like that. The correct hammer fist, you twist your whole body like you're about to do the uh, jab. Now one thing that my Taekwondo instructor always taught me is that whenever you punch, straight hard back here like that because you never know if somebody's behind you <coughs> okay so the hammer fist you hit with the bottom of your hand and you make it into a really good fist you come up and you go like that it's kind of like an axe kick just with you know your fist um so it should look like this Of course, it shouldn't be so slow. It should be like that. And then the um, uppercut, yeah. I kind of suck at this one, because you know I don't have like, the whole body motion. It looks like I'm about to do the wave. I'm like... <laughs> um, but basically, so you want to duck. A lot of people, they just duck like this, and they're like... Err. I personally like having to sway to the duck. So here, this is what it looks like in slow-mo. 
to a slow mos. That's what it should look like at fast pace. That wasn't fast pace. Now, why this is such a good move is that it hits them in the jaw, a pivotal point on the face. Now, this one isn't boxing, I think at least. But, this works really good on guys. Basically, if you groin kick them, most guys would be like that. You know, like this, I would. <laughs> and then, I'm not too good at this one, but you bring your arms out like this. You can also like knee them in the stomach. And then you bring out your arms like this and you hit them straight in between their ears. Or the pivot in their eye. So yeah, it should look like I'm going to do it with a growing kick and then a knee. So it should look sort of like this. Okay, okay, we do that. Okay, now with the knee. There you go. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.